In today's video, we are plant shopping at Martina's Nursery. Everything looks amazing and they have so many plants right now. Oh. <coughs> California has been experiencing the mildest fall and I don't know, like it's not officially winter yet, but I'm still wearing shorts and the plants are looking good. We are plant shopping at Martinez Nursery today and they have so many plants, everything's looking great. I can't wait to show you. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love Martinez Nursery. So all these plants are locally grown and are grown in Southern California and grown outside. Yes, house plants grown outside. They love it. I mean, they do source some of their plants, but all these plants are locally grown. None of them are imported, so these will all do really well in your home. If you're local to Southern California, of course. Just keeping in mind that the less that your plant has to adapt to your home conditions, the better it is for the plant. So that's why I say that. I'm gonna start here, because it is the most prominent, all these, Euphorbia pulcherimas look beautiful. I love this one. This one's gorgeous. It's nice and tall too. Euphorbia pulcherimas, or the poinsettias, are $10 for the six inch pots. I'm gonna have a hard time deciding because I wanna take one home, but they have a ton of really cute six inch pots in. They also have some Christmas cacti. I think these are more like the Thanksgiving cactus. I think a lot of them are actually hybridized, so maybe they're like a combination of Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> but these Schlumbergeras are in bloom. Oh, and I've always wanted like an orange one. This is really cool. These four inch Schlumbergeras are $6 each. Ooh, they have some nice, hanging baskets of the Cebu Blue. These are $35 each. These look really good. Ooh, and I love these. Ficus Shiverianas. These are $20 each in the four and a half inch pots. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I did not think I'd see one of these here. Really didn't think they'd have any left. But here is the Begonia Ferox for $30. Isn't that cool? See, it closely resembles the Begonia Milano Bellata, but the only difference is that the Ferox requires it to mature a little for it to get the little bumps. Isn't that cool? And they have some Philodendron White Knights too. And again, that's how I can tell. You see the little white stripes? This is cool. What is this, the blizzard? the snowdrift. I think it has something to do with um, winter weather. <laughs> this one's $30 too. Ooh, check out these Alocasia Regal Shields. Isn't that pretty? Aeroid flowers are so simple yet so beautiful. I love them. Ooh, what do they have here? Some Monstera Thai constellations. This is like some of the most beautiful variegation I've seen. That's gonna grow up to be a very beautiful plant. How much are these? $60 for the Thai cons? That is really good. They have some Christmas cactus again in the six inch pots, but check out the towering poinsettia. You know, this reminds me of like the wild poinsettia that grow in Mexico. Um, Rainy Day Wolf on Instagram sent me a picture of some of her wild poinsettias and they are so beautiful. It made me so envious. This is what it's kind of giving. I mean, maybe not. Probably not. It's like me um, looking at a McDonald's um, burger being like oh my gosh this is this is it this is the best burger <laughs> oh 
They always have really cool little plants to choose from too, like these Ficus petiolaris and the Ripsalis paradoxa. This is such a cool jungle cactus. Look at the shape of it. It's crazy that something in nature comes like that, you know? Looks like, looks like jewelry. The cutest little cryptanthus. These are a relative to the bromeliad and these are all the ruby red variety. That's pretty. These little cryptanthus are $5 each. Isn't that cute? Just the way that the light's hitting it in the golden hour. This is one of my favorite spathophyllums right now. The Spathophyllum Sensation Variegata, also known as the Spathophyllum Jessica. And I think it's so cool. I'm really excited to have a new variegated Spathophyllum become more common. Because I love dominoes. <laughs> These variegated Spathophyllum Sensations are $15 each. They're in the four inch pots. And the cool thing about them is that they do grow to the larger sensation size if you just give it time and space. This is the grafted Euphorbia Lactea Cristata. And you see these a lot, and I, I did at least, and I actually underappreciated them, but just recently, I went to my mom's house and she has a huge one, and I noticed that it's actually growing. So that of course piqued my interest, and now I really want one. <laughs> these are so beautiful. The bigger six inch pots are $25, and the smaller ones are 20 but they both come in the pink, white, and the green. I'm loving these larger hanging baskets of the Schlumbergeras too. So beautiful. I have one from last year from Rosalis and it's still alive. It's not as full as this though. So. Definitely lost some branches, but Hopefully, things are starting to look up from now, you know? <laughs> we don't lose any more branches from now. I love shopping at this time of day because everything just looks so much more magical as the sun sets and it creates this kind of halo effect on the plants. Ooh, they have a Syngonium Batik. Look at that. That's gorgeous. $12 for that. Nice and full Syngonium Batik. They have other Syngoniums too, like the White Butterfly. These are $6 each. And they are reliable and always having all the Hoyas and all the different sizes. So if you want some Crimson Princesses, Hoya Carnosa, Stralis Lisa, got the Comingiana, and a ton of just really beautiful Hoya Pubicalyx. Oh, this is cool. It's like a nice little gem of a find. Look at that Sansevieria. That is a cool Sansevieria. There's a couple of them. $15 each. That's awesome. Ooh, they have some nice four inch Cebu Blues. These are $20 each, but I just looked over and spotted this. And again, if you've been watching my channel, I love these Lucky ZZs, and I think it is a special ZZ. So all the ZZs that are labeled Lucky have these really rounded leaves. Let me see if I could find another ZZ. ZZ, ZZ, oh, yes. See the rounded leaves compared to the more pointed classic leaves of these ZZs. Get yourself a Lucky ZZ. Lucky one's only $8. Whoa, look at this. They have some nice, big philodendron painted ladies. Oh, $40. That is not bad. That was a good size plant too. Did you see that? And of course they have some big pink princesses too. They can't just have big painted ladies. <laughs> these 
will surprise you sometimes. But $50 for a nice big prin uh, pink princess. That is not bad. The thing I really learned about the pink princess is that you can't, it can't be your like number one plant. <laughs> Because the more you obsess about it, the more, I mean, at least for me, the more I stressed about it, you kind of just have to forget you have it. And then you look at it every now and then, and it'll throw out some pink, and you'll you'll be pleased. It's just adjusting your expectations, I guess, in the famous words of uh, Gabby Hanna. <laughs> I was talking to Danielle. She's one of the family members that runs this nursery. And I was telling her about how um, I've been obsessed with the Mexican Euphorbia pulcarima, the poinsettia, and she told me they got some Mexican ones in. So I'm really excited to check that out. That's like more over there, but we're here in the cacti and succulent area to see what kind of goodies we can find here. I love cacti so much, and it's all so beautiful. Ooh, even the Haworthia tessellatas look really good. Oh, this is so cool. It's putting out some fruit. That looks so cool. Like the price tag is bleached out. It's been here for so long. <laughs> it's just like a trailing jade plant. That's what it looks like to me. It is gorgeous. I'm loving the purple fade to green. That is beautiful. This is $15. They always have really good deals on their smaller succulents. Two inch pots are $125. Check this out. This is huge. That pothos stem is so thick. Wonder how much this is, or if it is even for sale. That's cool. <laughs> and it's growing outside. Hey, I was just told 150. Who's gonna buy this? I could, I would, but I feel like now is not the time to do anything big like that. You know, I just found out that um, I'm gonna be furloughed for six weeks in January, so I'm kind of freaking out. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I do know what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna focus on this channel and I'm gonna make some videos. So about that thing I said, um, how things are locally grown, I guess not always because they do have the Mexican poinsettia and I'm so excited. Look at all these plants to choose from. So, <laughs> these poinsettias from Mexico just reminded us of this funny story in New Orleans. We went to New Orleans for Halloween and one of the nights that we were out, we were on, you know, having fun in Bourbon Street and we were in this video bar and we were just like enjoying the music, dancing to the songs that we like. And this random girl in the bar Let's say, like, she's like right there. She just starts going, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's clapping. She's going, work it, work it, work it. And we would just like smile at her and like, you know, do our own thing. And just kept going throughout the whole night. The night goes on, we keep dancing. She keeps cheering until it's time for her to eventually leave. But she walks up to us and introduces herself Asks for our names, we give them our name. I tell him my name's Patrick. She's like, nice to meet you. Joe tells her his name. He goes, Joe, and she goes, oh no. <laughs> That's my daddy's name. <laughs> That's my daddy's name and he's from Mexico. <laughs> so we just uh, looked at this and we were like, it's from Mexico. <laughs> I don't know, we didn't really know how to think of that, but hey. <laughs> I'd say that this is a successful shopping trip at Martina's Nursery. Big shout out to Rainy Day Wolf for bringing the 
the Mexican poinsettia into my radar and hey look it's here in my arms now that's so cool I had a lot of fun I hope you did too if you like this video you know what to do please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up if you want to see more of my plant videos come plant shopping with me hit that subscribe button I can't wait to see you in the next video I just don't want to miss you too much so if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there bye I got you when you feel like falling. I'll be there.